Next news is out of the USA. Survey says younger Americans are becoming more uncomfortable around the LGBTQ people. Support for the LGBTQ community among younger Americans has sadly decreased, according to GLAAD, or GLAD's, 2019 Accelerating Acceptance Report. The report asked adults how they felt about things like seeing a gay couple holding hands or finding out a relative is a lesbian or knowing that their child had an LGBTQ teacher. The results focused on what non-LGBTQ Americans said in these situations. The survey found that non-LGBTQ adults who said they felt very or somewhat comfortable in all those scenarios was 49%, reflecting no change from 2018. But for the 18 to 34 demographic, however, that percentage fell from 53% to 45%. As GLAD representatives pointed out, 2019 marks the second year in a row that the LGBTQ acceptance among Americans aged 18 to 34 has dropped. In 2017, the figure was 63%. The most striking drop of acceptance appeared among young women, whose comfort level dropped from 64% last year to 52% in a newly published report. So I have my theories for why this is, but what do you think this is? Um... The only thing that I am looking at here are the dates uh, and the date of time. The only thing that happened here was it was right before Trump took over office. Mm. They all seemed rather uh, fine. And then over the course of the, you know, the past three years, everything that's been going on, everything that's been accepted uh, in the media, it's been rising um, every you, year. You don't think this is because of the, the woke cult ruining LGBT rights? No. No. I, I think don't know. I think the the generation Z has t uh, been turned off by a lot of the what is referred to as social justice warriors or the regressive left or the cult of woke or whatever you want to call them. And I think that uh, the on un the unpopularity of the woke cult has taken down a lot of important movements with it. Um like trans rights which is very important I think a, a lot of people are seeing it as a joke because the loudest people and the gay rights uh, was going down with that as well gay rights and trans rights a lot of people are dismissing that because of the, some of the loudest advocates of it um, are some of these regressive leftists so they uh, uh, associate LGBT with these people and they might be hurting the movement what do you is do you is that not a possibility? Oh, of course. I mean, anything. I We don't know exactly what it is that's causing this rise. So anything is a possibility. I'll give you that for sure. Yeah. Um, and I, for one, am outrageously frustrated by a lot of things that I guess the woke cult... I haven't, I haven't even heard uh, that phrase really be used against people until this year. Which phrase? Um, of course, I've heard of the term woke and a lot of that, but this woke cult uh, thing, the the far regressive left is the only thing that I really knew of. So I don't, I don't really know. The reason why people are using woke cult is because they say we shouldn't call them regressive left because they're not left. Like they're embarrassing the left, so we should dis like, kick them out of the left. A lot of okay. people are saying we shouldn't call them social justice warriors because... We want to fight for social justice, and these people are not fighting for social for social right, justice. They're so right. they're saying that they're they're coming up with a new term because they want to keep the left pure pure from these people, and also they want to fight for social justice, right? So that's why the a new the, the new term, the cult of woke, has been suggested. I don't know. If, I don't know. I, okay. like, I don't care. I just know who we're talking about. But yeah, at least that makes more sense to me. Yeah. Uh, and that is that, yeah, absolutely. I think that that is definitely a contributing factor. It has to be because uh, the regressive left or the the woke culture has frustrated me to the point where <laughs> I just can't stand it. I can't. I can't take it. I've seen them say the most racist, disgusting things while fighting racism. I can't stand. Uh, you know. So. So yes, I can understand that. But I don't. You know, I don't see it taking people who were generally comfortable with the LGBTQ uh, plus community. And, and all of a sudden, 
just being not comfortable with them, maybe not liking certain aspects because, you know, their aggressive left might have shoved things down their throat or whatever, fine. But um, why why is it okay one year for someone to think that it's okay to learn that their doctor is gay? Um, and then all of a sudden, the next year, more drop out, more drop out. Why is it that, um, you know, learning that a family member is gay and all of a sudden they're just becoming increasingly uncomfortable with that. Is it the same people that are becoming uncomfortable or is it the new generation of people that are replacing it's the, the same the, age group of people that are 18 is to 30? Is that generation Z? Um, yeah, it is. It is. Is it? Yeah, it is. So, so this is, I actually predicted this, but not to this extent a couple of years ago. I thought the, the, I thought that the woke cult is going to make, is going to ruin trans rights movement. Like I thought like the gay rights movement had made a lot of progress, obviously not, not enough, but a lot of progress. Um, and I thought like when it became to the trans rights movement, which it became their turn to now make the same level of progress. I thought the trans right movement became very unlucky because it, when it when it was time to shine the light on the trans right movement, the woke cult was also rising and I thought like they're going to hurt the trans right movement. I didn't think it would be as far as them also take also taking back some of the progress of the gay rights movement. Apparently this study is suggesting, I, if I'm right, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, okay? This study might be suggesting it's even hurting the gay rights movement, which I didn't think it was p possible because I thought like being a homophobe was becoming less and less popular and it will continue going that way. And that that has something that the homophobes are giving up on completely. And now they're going to focus on hating on trans people instead. But no, it seems like even gay rights movement is taking a... I would be curious, though, this is a U.S. Um, statistic. It's, you know, for people in the United States. So I would be curious to see what people, like, if we could do the same study of people around the world um, to kind of get an idea of what's going on over the next five years, if we can start including other people as well. Because then, then we can see, is this things like, you know, uh, transgender soldiers being banned from the military that is a contributing factor to this kind of stuff and people are like, go okay well this is acceptable now I don't uh, think that's a contributing factor I think usually those kind of things actually helps the gay rights because I think because here's the thing nobody goes home and feel like oh I love gay people but now that now that the president is anti-gay I'm also anti-gay you might say that the people that were already homophobe will become louder because they see it's acti acceptable, acceptable to say these things. But it's not like people are going to become homophobes because of this. I think, in fact, when it comes to changing opinions, when you see people attacking uh, LGBT people, in fact, more people might be sympathetic towards them, right? More people that are homophobes will be louder, but it doesn't change opinions. Uh, in fact, the changing opinions goes the other way when the government is being uh, anti-LGBT. I think what is hurting mm -hmm. opinions is uh, some of the tactics of the woke cult. That's what I think. I might be wrong completely about this and I'm open to be corrected, but this is my opinion. I'm not sure if I'm right, but go on. Yeah, no, I mean, it, like I said, in order to truly know, it'd be really great if we could see the same study done somewhere else that we know. Is this something in American culture that's causing this? Or like you say, you know, it's this it's this overall. Um, so it would just be interesting. Right. Um, yeah, okay, so let me actually see what the top comment is. Henry is saying, I'm interested in the... Um, okay, so people are... People, when they always... Um, question the study is this a legit like how good this is the friendly uh, atheist uh, reporting study so I think he has done his research Himad Mehta usually does his research before the study so and we're not saying Himad Mehta is always right okay but he's one of the tr sources that we trust more than others okay I definitely yeah, I would definitely yeah. trust any, any of the research he's done things that he has to say I mean like you said anyone can be wrong but I do I do trust him generally and so this um, what, what I really wanted to see is I wanted to get here and see things because I know that you were talking in our last time about, um, people do go straight to the part that says why they shouldn't, you know, 
listen to a study or, or why why a study might be a little off. Um, and, and, and that's actually, that is something that is outrageously important yeah. because a lot of people do try to pass off studies when they've only studied like a hundred people. Um, and, well, I and, think the and, number, the number matters less than the randomization of the people yes, that are selected. Yeah, that's what I was about to get into. Like oh, if okay. you say that, you know, you, you surveyed a hundred people and they were, oh, they were all from Houston, Texas. Mm. I mean, um, so, yeah, that's going to be a little... <laughs> so it's very, you know, once you get once you get above 30 people, what matters more than the number of people that you study is how the people you study were selected. So once you get above 30, the randomization of the people that you select matters more than the number. OK, so that's <laughs> the key thing. But it's interesting. Henry is saying I'm interested in the number of people like the, he's questioning the study. How many states uh, in what context, what locations, demographics? And he just leaves it there. So they just question the study. But the link is right there. Right? Like he, he asked like, oh, I don't, I'm, I'm not trusting the study because what states? What's the number? What's the context? Well, it's right there. You can check. I mean, for people here also, the link is in the description. All of this you could go check. Why? Like they just, you know, you, you, it's just two clicks away, Henry. I don't know. It, it just, when, it, when people don't, just don't like a study, they just question it without actually going and checking whether these things actually make sense or not, right? Yeah. Um, again, so this... It's important this, to do, though, whether you like a study or don't like a study. It's always yeah, important. do it, but, no. but here, people don't know how to do skepticism properly, right? People um, are, you know, try to, you know, call something bullshit the same way that they accept things, both without evidence, you know? So, you know but it's good to be skeptical, right? But skeptical doesn't mean just rejecting something without you it shouldn't accept something without evidence but you shouldn't also reject something without evidence and also i understand that the time is limited and when time is limited and you can't research everything you go by occam's razor but we, when you go by occam's razor that doesn't mean that obviously the better method would go would be for you to check everything okay but because you can't do that, you apply Occam's razor, but when you apply Occam's razor, you hold that belief with a higher level of skepticism, right? So you're like, okay, this, this is being, I can't really go and check the study, but this is being reported by some places that I trust. So I'm going to say that this is likely true, but I'm going to accept this with a higher level of doubt that I would have if I actually went and looked at the study. So that's, another method that you could do but again if you if you want the link is there you could check the studies um another person that i can't pronounce the name is saying this was just a matter of time personally i don't care who you date uh could be a horse i just don't care but it tell everyone and show them about this and what we have better things to worry about this these days no okay this is a standard argument i see people say like about gay rights movement like Okay, fine. Go, go have sex with whoever you want. I don't care. Why do you have to show it the whole, to the whole world? Well, because that's what be that is what is being demonized. You, okay. I don't want to insult people, but people say like, why gay people have to uh, express their uh, sexuality so much? Well, because that is being targeted. Okay, that is what's being targeted. So that's why you're trying to normalize. Okay, if something else was being targeted, you would you would showcase that to normalize that. Just like atheist activists, they try to keep expressing their atheism to normalize atheism. Okay, so if if the person that you're choosing as a partner is being demonized, well, that's you you the society has chosen to target someone's sexuality to demonize so obviously to normalize that you have to express sexuality be like oh why are you why are you promoting your sexuality you don't see se straight people going out and celebrating their sexual orientation so why are you, you know. what i mean they, okay know. that's a, that's a rare example but i'm saying like well if straight people were being attacked for their sexual orientation which they're not then in that case it would make sense for you to go out and i mean Actually, straight people do celebrate their sexuality all the time. It's everywhere. It's actually to do it more than gay people. I don't even understand that argument. Okay, um, if 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 your sexual orientation has been ta targeted, that's why you have to promote the most, so you normalize it. That's why gay people need to sh 
promote their sexual orientation more than straight people. Okay, that's why that's why they're focusing on their sexuality. That's what they, that has that is what's being targeted. So that's what you normalize. Uh, Kevin is saying, where was this survey conducted? Because I have noticed the opposite. Well, click on the freaking study. It's right there, Kevin. Do you want us to like tell you? You know. I don't understand. You want us to just like how hard is it to click on this and just read? If it's not in the title, no, you just have to. Everything has to be summarized in the title for you. Do you want the whole article and the whole study should be just be the title? Apparently, yeah. I don't understand people. I don't understand people. Um, you will is saying have Doctor Debrasov. Oh, Debrasov. Uh, Ali, can we? I don't know if Debra, can we can we get Debra so she might be too big now. Uh, yeah, we'll try uh, for a talk. Actually, Debra so might be good for secular jihadist podcast. Um, yeah, I we know that people use LGBT. So you will saying LGBTQ movement is being used for political for uh, is being used politically for other intentions, right? You, we know that. We know that, and this is why I'm criticizing, I, and I think it's hurting the LGBT rights movement. I we we just because some people are misusing it, right? That doesn't mean there's not a case for fighting for LGBTQ rights. Okay, just because some people are using it for their own political uh, games, that you shouldn't just dismiss the entire movement because some people are misusing it i know they're misusing it they're, they're misusing trans right movement they're misusing gay rights movement for other intentions we know that's the reality but but a lot of people on the right are now completely throwing away everything lgbtq because they have examples of people misusing it uh, so Parma is saying armin is the first straight person i saw who's an ally even when other straight people are uh, ba bashing gay and trans people for expressing their sexuality. That's what made me follow you. Um, I think a lot of straight people f uh, sup Am I really the first straight person? I mean, it doesn't really matter if I if you're straight or not to to be able to see the point of uh, gay rights and trans rights activism um, <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Okay, uh, Ali Ali, you are gay. Can you use your gay card to say something that has more authority than what I have to say? Because apparently the woke cult also doesn't accept. I can only talk about Islam related stuff because I'm an ex-Muslim. But you have a gay card. So talk about gay stuff. Well, I think that <laughs> I actually think that people uh, like me are kind of to blame for this as well. What? Um, what? Because what? I'm very... Uh, I'm a very private person. I don't like to throw my sexuality around. I feel awkward. I feel strange still. Um, and I'm a coward <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a lot of ways. When you it comes are to not a coward, Ellie. And, uh, you know, so yeah, so I'm quiet. I'm quiet a lot. I don't share a lot of my personal life um, out there. I don't like to. And I think that... We hear all the time straight people are saying, why can't you shut up about your sexuality? Well, a lot of us do. And I think that because so many of us do, people are scared. People are, are maybe pulling away. I don't know. See, this I don't is know. The, I think see, that if we're out in our communities, I think if we're out, um, out there showing people who we are, uh, I don't know. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know. It's just... See, this is the overcorrection on the other side. By the way, you will. I know what you're saying. I agree with you. I wasn't suggesting that you were saying that. Um, I know I, you make a lot of sense. Uh, but uh, Ali, this is the this is the over. So, the woke cult was a overcorrection to some legitimate concerns, right? So you have hom real homophobia and transphobia, and then you get the woke cult coming on and demanding things that are unreasonable in response to some legitimate concerns. But now. As a response to the woke cult, the and the so-called anti-SJWs are now also overcorrecting. Okay, and we're getting overcorrection on this on the other side, where somebody thinks like, like w w the the overcorrection on the first side was like, oh, you have to be gay to be able to talk about gay rights. You have to be woman to be able to talk about women rights. You I have hate to be. That. 
you have to be, if you're not black, you don't understand racism, okay? So that's overcorrection. But now the overcorrection is like, now you're thinking like, oh, maybe if I'm gay, I shouldn't talk about uh, gay rights because I'm, I'm telling, you know, maybe it's too much. Maybe, I, maybe gay people should take their sexual orientation and just keep it to themselves, right? So now we're getting overcorrection on this side. Again, it keeps going it's just swing keeps swinging uh, well you're saying that because i'm not saying that oh you don't so maybe i misunderstood you didn't you say like so what did you explain it to me again no i'm saying that that people should still be talking out I'm i know you're saying it now but you're saying that out. you uh, you were afraid no i'm not saying you're saying it now but didn't you say that you felt before that you have to keep it to yourself absolutely i felt so, that way so that's what i'm saying i'm not talking about what you think now i'm just saying what you felt before was an overcorrection to a lot of these criticism people have for the gay community, right? A lot of people now are saying them to just keep your sexuality to yourself, so much so that you don't, you used to not even feel secure enough to talk about it, right? So I, I think, still kind of don't. So yeah, that's what I, I'm saying. I'm saying this is an, this is what you what what you what you felt was an overcorrection that the anti SJW crowd is responsible for, right? It doesn't matter if you're gay or not gay okay you should everybody should be able to talk about these things okay nobody has to check uh, you know their skin color their gender their sexual orientation before they decide if it's okay to talk about something or not okay it doesn't matter the anti just anti sjw crowd are now playing the same identity game that they used to blame the sjw crowd for okay now they're doing it. They're playing the same game. It keeps. It's just the pendulum just keeps swinging on every uh, all directions. Just talk. What? Just say whatever is right. Okay. If something is true, they do this to me as well. They're like, "Hey, Armin, you're an ex-Muslim, so it's right for you to shit talk about sh shit about Islam." But I'm a white man. I shouldn't say. If I say it, it's, it's racist. Bullshit. Bullshit. If something is, if Islam is nonsense, it doesn't matter if I'm an ex-Muslim. It doesn't matter if I'm Middle Eastern or not. Islam is bullshit. Okay, you don't have to have the right skin color to be able to say Islam is bullshit. Uh, anyways, Chrissy is saying another godless. Um, no, no, that she's responding to somebody else. Um, Thank you for the support, people in the chat. You're yeah. very. Nice. Thank you. I, does it make sense what I said now? I wasn't saying I wasn't criticizing what you think now. I was just I was criticizing what you were meant to what you were put in a position that you felt before. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, okay. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.